Oh, fuck me. Um, uh, I, um... Oh, no, 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 sorry. That was, that's just an expression we say. I don't want you to actually, you know. <laughs> Phew. I thought you actually wanted me to engage in sexual activities with you, which worried me as I find the fleshy and hairless human form to be really quite repulsive. My mistake. <clears throat> Cheers. Why are they attacking each other? It's called boxing. It's a sport. And how does one win this sport? By knocking the other person unconscious. Barbarians. All of you. Today is the second week with our newly assigned human medic. As we already had a human on board, I assumed that we had all the correct accommodations and such things. I was incorrect in this assumption. It has come to my attention that the human homeworld, Earth, has a far broader range of climates and habitats than we previously thought. Our new human comes from a country called Australia, which I have learnt is wildly different to our cooks, whales. My home planet only has one habitable climate, the other is completely inhospitable. It seems the human's planet is similar in this, but they decided to live in the inhospitable areas anyway. Our two humans have seemingly bonded over the terrifying extremes their two countries experience. The new human has also brought a pet on board. This animal is apparently native to Australia. Ugh, the teeth and claws on it. The universal translator mustn't be working properly, because I believe its name is Fire Breather with Facial Hair. I have been assured it does not breathe fire. Humans truly are an astonishing species. You know, back on cracks, we would have called that fucked up. But around you humans, it's normal. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, the weather in America can get a little sane. Oh, Toshi! Ohio gozaimasu! Did my English translator stop working? What's going on? Uh, oh, don't worry about it. They're simply talking in a language of the country they came from. You have different languages. Every country? Well, most of us do, but countries also share the same languages, and some actually sound really alike. But isn't that annoying? Then you would never understand each other. I thought English was the planet language. Well, yeah, it can be a bit annoying to not understand each other. That's why we actually speak English internationally. It's pretty much the world's first language, and that's also why we used it when we talk with you. So, English is the most spoken language on your planet? No, Chinese is actually. I'm sorry, what? How did you humans survive long enough to form a functioning society? You have no claws, sorely lacking physical strength as a species, no physical defenses. We just walked quickly after things that were faster than us until they died or got too tired to run away anymore and accepted death. What the hell? Yeah, badass, right? There's a reason we're the top dog on Earl. Oh, shit! Are you sure? Yeah, pretty sure. So you just had blood sucked out of your arms, face, and legs after a five-minute walk outside? Yeah, but it's cool, because I didn't realize it was happening at the time. Oh. Okay. Shepard Commander, why is there a knife taped to that cleaning droid? Oh, that's just stabby. What is its purpose? To fulfill a 160-year-old joke from the early 2010s. Why are humans like this? 